at the old marketplace, you know, where you can guzzle sarsaparilla and large lumps. And here to tell you more about it is that popular BBC star, Richard Hassett. Some time ago, I went up to the Caledonian market, where you see all these cockneys selling their goods, you know. Well, the first one I saw was a dear old man with a long grey beard and a moustache, and he was selling mohair laces in the following very plaintive manner. Don't forget your mohair laces, four penny laces, here's your lovely laces, don't forget your mohair laces. Well, a few yards away, there was a man selling rubber animals, toys for children. Very lugubrious, like this. Dime pig a penny. Dime pig a penny. A nice healthy rubber animal all made to blow up and squeak when he dies down a penny. Dime pig a penny. But don't forget your mohair laces. All the penny laces. Then I saw a man selling sweets in the most original manner I've ever seen. He was saying, now ladies and gentlemen, I have y'all. The finest assortment of confectionery that you've ever seen in your lives. I'm not a kidding to you, gentlemen. Twelve sweets in a bag, all for the price of one penny. One copper coin of the realm. Here, don't go away, missus. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Come here. Now, here's the sweets here, and here's the bag here. Did I say twelve for a penny? Watch this. <laughs> There's number one, a bar of chocolate, number two, a coconut macaroon, number three, a marshmallow, and number four, a peppermint lump, number five, a chocolate biscuit, number six, a pear drop, number seven, a brandy ball, and number eight, a mint tumble, number nine, a bullseye, number ten, a Turkish delight, number eleven, a bar of nougat, and number twelve, a whipped cream walnut. <coughs> They're all in that bag, and the price is one penny. I don't forget your mohair laces, four penny laces. Then I came across our old friend with the tray of cough lozenges and the very hoarse voice. Now, I know you've all heard him before, but just to remind you again, he always says, Now, ladies and gents, I got in this bag the finest cure for diseases of the throat that you've ever seen in your life. Cough lozenges, gents, guaranteed to cure any titivations of the tonsils, undulations of the uvula. Can you hear me, sir, can you? Now, come here, I've been drinking out of a damp glass. Now, to prove the efficiency of these tablets, I'm going to try one on myself. You can hear how I'm talking tonight. Well, I extract the lodging from the bag with the thumb and forefinger of the right hand so Place it on the tongue and swallow it. And immediately my voice becomes as clear as a bell. I can speak and be heard. But don't forget your mohair laces. Four a penny laces. Then the last gentleman I remember on that morning was the inevitable linoleum man. The chap who doesn't sell in linoleum, he absolutely throws it at you and says, Now, ladies and gentlemen, I got here the finest bit of linoleum that you've ever seen in the course of your careers. Linoleum? Ha! A bit left over from Buckingham Palace. And it's none of your cheap American oil cloth, gents, but real British inlaid cut cork lino. Gentlemen, that is guaranteed to last you a lifetime. And give the kids a slide after you've gone. Here it is. I want a quid for it. A saucepan, anyone. Here. Fifteen bob, I'm asking. Here. Half a bar, all of it. Ear! Seven and a kick, it's a bargain. Ear! A dollar, blimey, I'm chucking it at you. Ear! Half a dollar. Ear! Eightpence, and I'll send it home in a taxi. Now, that's my offer to you, ladies and gentlemen, and what's your answer? What is your answer? Don't forget your mohair laces. Here's your lovely laces. In large lumps.